Each week, we follow the boss of a major organization as they go undercover to find out what's really going on in their company. This is Undercover Boss UCLA Anderson. Eric Peterson is a former general manager of Biometra, a small company that produces vascular medical devices. This week, Eric is going undercover among current MBA students discussing his new Harvard case study. Yeah, when I heard that Harvard was making a case about me, I was thrilled. I've had so many successes in my career that I think students could really learn from. You know, there was one bad instance, uh, but there's no way that the case is about that one. Honestly, if I was sitting next to Eric, I'd slap him right in the face. Yeah, it just didn't seem like the leaders really respected him at all. And, I mean, I don't really blame him. Yeah, I'm just gonna piggyback off of George's point. Uh, the managers really didn't respect him. Yeah, and I just want to echo Matt's piggyback off of George's point. There were no respect. I'm just gonna jump up and please echo Matt's piggyback off his point and say he just sucks. Okay, Eric, you just... Yeah, I think that <laughs> would be a little harsh on, on, uh, on Eric. He doesn't have a lot of resources, so I think we should give him a break. Wait, wait, wait. That's total bullshit. You get everything you possibly need, and you just chose to ignore it. I did not think that people would react like that. I... Almost paradise. We're knocking on heaven's door. Dean Weiler here. It's the exciting new season of recruitment in paradise. All of your favorite second years are back from summer internships. And so are some new faces looking for jobs in a little drama. So I just really made a connection with banking. I just feel like it could be the right industry for me. I think it's a great fit. And the tech industry is just so interesting. Can you tell me about it? Um, I don't think you're cut out for this, Erica. Oh. Whatever. On to the next. So, Parker told me to find commonalities. That's so weird. My brother's name is also Schreiner. I'm an only child. In paradise, jobs are for everyone. I feel like people aren't really here for the right reasons. And I'm really in paradise just looking for love. Uh, I'm actually a student in the law school, but I just come to these events for the free wine. So. Don't miss all the heartbreaking drama. Can I steal you for a second? And more crying and wine than ever before. <laughs> but in the end, it's all about the offers. Give me your 30 second pitch. 30 seconds about me. Okay, well, I'm a Gemini, but my rising sign is also Gemini, but my moon sign is Scorpio. Anyways, I just don't know what I did wrong. I did all the Parker deliverables on time. Love going to the beach and I'm pretty good about meal prepping, but really if I'm thinking about what I'm looking for, I mean like I want someone who's going to share their success with me and who's really like fearless 
in the way that they think, you know? Petty is really unconventional, but I don't think I've seen anyone embody the Anderson values the way she has. Every Thursday on the North Terrace, join us for what not to do when recruiting in paradise. What happens when first year students don't take heed to the Parker series? Maybe I'll just go to law school. It all starts now in the most dramatic season of recruiting in paradise yet. What are you gonna propose? Oh my God, he just jumped the f fence. Seventh season of Survivor. Before the break, the investment banker tribe competed against the consulting tribe in order to inch one step closer to becoming the ultimate summer internship survivor. Investment bankers, you guys got off to a very quick start when you first used the lighter as your tool. What was your decision making in that process? I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. We just built a three-day forecast model and realized that there were too many synergies not to leverage our Ben Franks to start the fire. Come on, guys, come on, faster, faster. Let's go. Keep it going, baby. Go, 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 go. Okay. Interesting strategy. Consultants. Sounds like your first challenge got off to a rocky start when your team leader shot himself in the leg. What happened there? Ow. My leg. I have a hole in my leg. Oh, actually, we have to give him the sedatives to quiet him down. The investment banking tribe came out on top this week. But no one's future is certain. Can Chris regain the confidence of his tribe? Can anyone find food on this godforsaken island? Tune in next week on Survivor Cascades. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another season of Anderson Ninja Warrior. You've got Sam and Emery on the mics today. Emery, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm really excited for these two contestants we have. They've got great business skills, but we're excited to see what kind of athletic chops they have. Now let's go to the contestants. Yeah, we're really excited to be here today. I really think this is the perfect opportunity for us to launch our careers in the sports industry. Our first event is the undergrad gauntlet where our two candidates will be dodging those pesky undergrads. Are you ready? Go! If you look, they're working together. Rune's taking the left, Garrett's taking the right. First major obstacle is a freshman looking for Take petition. Take my flyer, please. Flyer nine. Sign my petition! Ooh. Oh, brilliant spin! Here we have the floss tunnel. Oh, we... Here we have the 50 foot incline flying high this one. Don't okay. try this at home, kids. Our contestants coming to the finish line. Oh, congratulations. How do you guys feel? Well, that was great. But it was even better because we were able to share success. <laughs> <laughs> Sign this petition. Live from the Anderson Library on Saturday night! Which has actually already been closed for five hours. You have Colin West. I just got back from Kenya, where I didn't grade your Nordstrom papers. And this is Jim King. I just got promoted to the head of accounting department, and I perfected my vegan brownie recipe. I will start this week's news with the workplace big five. Alright, now we can move on. Next to the news, we have finals this week with everyone hard at work, which makes no sense because of great non-disclosure. Oh, then just party at my house, will you? June, how are we going to do that without any white claw? Oh shit, then I guess we need to study after all. Moving on, the Trojan undergrads. Woo! Hey, none of that here. Why are you here again? I don't call in. Now I'm going to share an NBA hack of this week. Don't share your news on LinkedIn. Wait, really? Anyway, yeah June, I'd like to piggyback off of that. Make sure not to contact any alumni by September 26th, otherwise you're going to get back blacklisted from any industry ever. What do you mean? I already contacted 200. Don't worry, June. You can probably still contact Eric Peterson, 
I hear he's still looking for a job. I got an interview invitation email from Amazon. No way, that's so excited. When is it? Oh, it's next week, but I need a rating of four stars to get that interview. Otherwise, I will be automatically disqualified and I cannot even apply again in the next year. Oh, wait, so you're at 3.9 right now? Yeah. yeah, I know, but I still have one week. Ah, okay. Yeah, just make sure you don't mess up. You still have a webinar coming up. Yeah, sure. I will try my best to make everything right. Okay, please come and check in for the tech one more. Please come. Here is the QR code. Okay, great, great. She didn't check in and violated the dress code. Unbelievable. <laughs> Guys, Sydney just took the last white claw. What? What the hell? How did she hold you? We're in a shortage. You just declawed us. Oh that's, my god. That's, that's, that's unacceptable. No, oh, wait. No. I know. No. Cindy, yeah. did you see what was posted on your Facebook? No, what is this? Look. Oh my god. Is it public on Facebook? I think so. Did you even watch the personal branding videos? Oh, oh no, please don't do that. Oh my god, I got an email from Amazon. I wonder if I can get a summary in which you've done the Anderson cafe.